Good morning. I'm going to be doing another art lesson with you. I'm very excited. Um, today we're going to talk about inspiration and a lot of how I do my art is I get inspired by nature. And I know some fourth graders have learned about rocks and nature in the recent days. So I thought I would do some rock art. So you'll see here that I made out of rocks that I collected in my yard, a little picture of two little kitty cats swinging on a swing. Isn't that cool? So how I started was I went around my yard and I started to collect things. And I was collecting rocks and leaves and twigs. And you can see all of the treasures that I collected. And what I did was I put my little rocks in a little bag and I put the bigger rocks that I could choose from in a bigger bag so that when I was doing my art, I could pick out the same tones of colors and kind of the cool shapes that I wanted to use in making my little kitty cats on a swing. So you can see here that I have uh, some kind of nut or pod. I have some sticks and some really cool leaves with some pretty colors going all around it. And I want you guys to go kind of on a treasure hunt and collect some stuff that you think you might be able to do a picture with. So today what I'm gonna do with you on camera from my dining room is we're gonna make a butterfly, which is all over nature in Florida, right? So I found this really cool leaf and it kind of looks like a rock if you didn't know it was a leaf. So I put it on my flat piece of paper and I'm gonna put some rocks on there. And when I put the rocks on there, you're gonna see how I sorted them into the same color families. And I'm gonna make a butterfly out of these rocks. And I'm just gonna put these rocks in a way that I might be able to position them to look like a caterpillar or a um, butterfly because Caterpillars turn into butterflies. Miss Scherter did a really cool experiment in her garden at home. I don't know if you all saw that when the, the caterpillar made a little cocoon in her yard and then all of a sudden a butterfly came out. That is just so neat how nature works and, and life is great sometimes when you see things happen right in front of you. So you see how I kind of put those all those dark, dark rocks in a, in a shape of a butterfly. I'm not gonna glue them down to the paper just yet. I'm going to now take a magic marker and I think I'm gonna choose blue and I'm just gonna make some butterfly wings. And it's almost like a heart shape. You see that? And then I'm gonna make another one because butterflies usually have more than one wing, right? There's my butterfly. And I'm going to make little designs on my wings. You can do this any way you want. I'm just gonna make them kind of squiggly so I can color them pretty colors when I'm all done. Look at that, right? And then I'm gonna make little legs coming off the body to make it look like he's standing on that funny leaf that I'm pretending is a rock in my artist's mind. So I have that done. And now I'm gonna take some brown because my rocks are kind of gray and brown. And I'm gonna make little tentacles because you know how they have those swirly tentacles on top so they can tell where they're going. This is what I'm gonna do. And it's just a little squiggle, just a little squiggle. And I'm gonna make two at the very top of his little rock head. See, isn't that nice? And now you're ready to glue. So I'm gonna take my Elmer's glue 
I'm going to open it up. And I think I will glue this one down first. And you're just going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom of your rock. Try to pick the flattest spot that you can. And then you're going to put it back down where we kind of planned it out in our heads when we were putting the rocks on the paper first, just to see what we could make. Then I'm gonna take the next biggest one and I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on this rock. Not much, just like we did with the bunnies. Remember the bunny ears, just a little plop of glue. And I'm gonna put that back on the paper and I'm gonna glue his head. This one could be messy. And then I'm going to put that right back where it was. Oops, it's sliding a little bit. And you might have to push it down a little bit. And then these little tiny ones, I'm actually going to put the glue right on the paper so that my hands don't get in the way because I have big hands. You guys have little hands. But I'm going to put a little bit of glue right there. And I'm going to put the next box oops, right there on it. Push it down a little bit. And I'm going to do this one the same way. And Elmer's glue is really cool because if you get too much glue under there, under these little tiny rocks, it doesn't matter because it's going to dry clear. So there's that. And now he's all glued down. All we have to do is just let him dry for a few minutes. So while he's drying, I'm going to turn my paper and I'm, because I'm right handed and I don't want to accidentally knock my rocks that I just glued over. So I'm going to take some pretty colors and I'm going to color his wings with the markers. Oh, and look at that. I chose yellow or orange and I wasn't even thinking, but that's the complementary color to the blue that I used for my outline. See, art always is in your head, no matter how hard you try to hide. All right, so I'm coloring. I don't know if you guys know this, but when I lived in Connecticut, I used to work at a stone quarry. Do you guys know what a quarry is? Well, if you do, great. But if you don't, I'm going to tell you, a quarry is a big, place in nature where men use big machines to get rocks out of the ground and it's kind of cool and we used to do explosions to get rocks out have you ever driven with your parents and you see a house that has um, rocks on the front of it well that's what my stone quarry that i worked at used to make and that's where i fell in love with nature and rocks and minerals and just it's so beautiful if you just take a minute to stop and look it's all around us especially here in florida when we're so lucky with the weather and we can go outside and we can walk around our yards and get some treasures and leaves and all kinds of cool stuff. Now I know we had to leave our pattern cats in school before we left, but you can see on the wing that's behind this front wing on my butterfly, I made just little little lines with my orange crayon. So it looks like it's just behind it. That's a little trick artists use. And now I'm going to color in a little bit. There was this one time that I had a whole bunch of rocks delivered to my house from the quarry that I worked at. And my daughter was little at the time, Caitlin. And she was playing in this big pile of rocks. And she found a garnet, a precious stone. And I still have it today. It's very beautiful. I really should get it made into a necklace because it's like a raw, deep, deep, dark jewel. And it was just ground up in all the rocks that I had delivered. So you never know what kind of treasures you're going to find. 
And so you always have to keep your eyes open, right? That's what artists do. I'm almost done coloring my pretty butterfly wings. And then you could take another crayon, uh, another marker, maybe make a line, a darker line like that. So it looks like the wing, the darker wing is in front of you, right? In the op art um, that we just did online, the lighter popped out at you and the darker went behind. But in this one, the darker comes forward and the lighter goes behind. It's funny how that works. It tricks your eye into thinking, yep, that's what's happening, even though it's just on our paper. So now I have my butterfly, as you can see. Isn't he cool? So what I can do next, like I did with my little people or my little kitties on the swing, is I can add some grass if I want. And grass is just really straight lines. You don't have to be neat about it because this butterfly is in nature. We'll make it a little bit darker at the bottom. There we go. Rock art, isn't that fun? And don't forget to sign your art. All great artists sign their artwork. So I want you guys, when it stops raining, because it's kind of a rainy day today. But you can go out in your yard when the sun comes back out, keep smiling, and collect treasures to make art. So until next time, be creative. I love you and I miss you.